everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today we have an exciting build here. We're building the Pygmy Hippo Habitat. This little guy is such a cute little animal and I'm super happy with how the habitat turned out for him, him, her, all the rest. Uh, this is actually my second time recording this commentary. The last time I recorded, I had a brilliant commentary, just trust me on that, and I realized after I hit that stop button that I didn't actually have my mic unmuted. So, here we are for round two. Basically, with, with this exhibit, I was looking through my list of jungle type animals and I saw this little pygmy hippo in here and I thought what a perfect little guy to introduce into our park so I wanted to do uh, do them justice with a cool waterfall exhibit I pulled some pictures off of Google for like a multi-tier waterfall system coming into like a jungle lagoon and that was kind of the approach I was aiming for with this habitat here. This waterfall took me quite some time to do. Between work and other uh, obligations, it took me probably about two and a half hours, I'd say, to complete the whole thing, but I think the end result it was well worth the effort. So, basically, I, I wanted to test my limits with waterfall building by doing like a multi-stage, multi-level uh, system uh, to create a more natural look as opposed to just one waterfall uh, falling into a pool, right? That's, I've done that before, everyone's done that and it's, it's, it's boring now, right? So I wanted to challenge myself a little bit, but it definitely did take quite some time. So I'm combining the rapids parts with the actual waterfall pieces to give the uh, look of like actual moving water and I think it turned out really well. You'll see it in a bit here uh, when I uh, put the actual pool in. And these waterfalls uh, systems that they have here are really nice you know it's it's pretty intuitive once you get the hang of it and uh, it creates some really realistic looking waterfalls if I do say so myself Frontier has done an absolutely fantastic job in this game and I'm so thankful to be able to bring this content to you guys and have you enjoying it I've wanted to be uh, become a YouTuber for quite some time and start making YouTube videos for, for years now and to be honest I, I don't know what stopped me. Uh, I'm not sure if it was lack of confidence or just laziness, <laughs> I, probably a mix of both, but when I saw this game was announced and I saw what it was going to be like, I knew that this was the one I, I had to break into with. I simply love the creative aspect. Uh, I've played games like Ark Survival and uh, Atlas by uh, Wildcard and stuff like that uh, simply because I love the creative aspect of those games. Building bases and building cool things and also the wildlife being dinosaurs in that game. I also played Frontier's other project, uh, Jurassic World Evolution. And those were great, but having actual animals, just, yeah, this checked all the boxes for me here. Yeah, so that's the waterfall done, and now we move on to the most infuriating system <laughs> in the game, and that is the transport rides. I honestly, I really don't like the way these work, uh, the, the way you place the tracks, the, the stations, you, you can't really adjust the length of the track easily, they clip through terrain in a weird way, uh, they don't place in other areas, it's just, uh, it's not my favorite. Uh, I'd say my biggest gripe, 
however, though, is the fact that they all need to be in a closed loop. I'd like to have something like uh, maybe just go back and forth on a track, but they're all a loop system. So either way, uh, I, I envision this area of having like uh, a train suspended on tracks going through like a mountain pass. You know, those pictures of like Asia and Africa, of, like this train just like on a sheer cliff face. And I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to reproduce that to the point of how I want to in this section of the park, but I'm going to do my best with it anyhow, and hopefully you guys like the result. I want to take this time to say if you are liking the video, please do smash that like button. Uh, it really does help me out, and if you are enjoying my content, feel free to subscribe to stay tuned for my next projects. I'm going to be keeping going with this park until we have everything in here and I do plan on doing more of the one-off builds, the habitat builds that I had done in previously. Uh, it's just that this park has been taking all my focus and attention so I wanted to really knock out these habitats and have them look really nice and I just been focusing on this but if you guys do want to see more just one-off habitat builds just put your request in the comments and I'll be sure to uh, do it in in due time I do read each and every one of your guys's comments you guys have been super supportive and very uh, motivating for me to continue with this series and continue with my parks uh, without your guys' comments and views, you know, it's it, it, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you everyone who is tuning in. It means the world to me. So here I am continuing with my trend of hidden staff areas. I basically want to move more towards this style of having each habitat in the zoo have its own dedicated staff area but hidden right like hidden underground or hidden behind trees or something right that way I can designate a work zone for the staff to strictly take care of this area and that way the animals never go hungry but also their needs are taken care of and the staff don't have to travel too far to get to the habitat. Honestly, uh, the pygmy hippo, uh, I was, it was one of the selling points to the uh, deluxe edition of Planet Zoo for me here. Uh, the Komodo dragon sold me instantly, but the fact that they included the pygmy hippo was just such a cool thing. Now, one thing that I'm not sure about though is, like, I know the pygmy hippo is a real animal, but like, is it... Is it a natural animal? Like, does it appear in nature? Or is it... Look at these cute little guys. Oh, but does it appear in nature? Or is it like something... That, some abomination we've created? Or what? Like, I'm... Forgive my ignorance on the subject, but... I'm just not too keen on uh, the pygmy hippo knowledge, I suppose. So, please fill me in if I'm completely out to lunch on where pygmy hippos come from. Yeah, so here we are, just beginning the foliage stage of the pygmy hippo habitat. Uh, placing these nice trees, as, uh, big trees as a backdrop to the waterfall. And then, being that these guys are aquatic as well as tropical, gives me a little bit more freedom with my plant selections. It gives me a couple different plants to place in here than we've had in our uh, builds before this. Basically, I just want to amp up the realism with these habitats. I want them to look almost picture perfect and uh, it, as if you took a, a picture out of National Geographic or right off of Google, if you will. So as we go through, just placing the plants down. And 
this, excuse me, my phone just rang there. I thought I had it on silent, but I did not, so I had to pause the recording there for a second. There's always something I forget so far with uh, making these YouTube videos. I'll, I'll have my phone off of silent, or I'll hit forget to hit the unmute button on my microphone. The other day, uh, actually it's one of the exhibits after this one that I've already quote unquote recorded. I forgot to hit play, or record rather, on the recording. So I built 90% of the habitat and it didn't record. So as you can see, I'm still learning, still cutting my teeth. But I hope you guys enjoy this series as much as I am enjoying making it for you. So with this one, I wanted to make a rock wall and, and uh, make it uh, extra realistic as far as like a jungle cliffside, if you will. I also want to take this time to uh, address the my Thai viewers. As I mentioned before, I am living in Bangkok, Thailand. I've been here for about eight years now, and the Thai people have been so welcoming, and I'm forever gracious to uh, Thai people and their culture. The the warm welcome and the way that the Thais treat me as an expat is is absolutely fantastic. So if you allow me, I'd like to say a few words to my Thai listeners. Kop kun kap tu kon Thai, kop kun ma ma du video kong kong And uh, <laughs> that'll be all the uh, Thai I embarrass myself with trying to learn the language, but it, it's not easy for a Westerner like myself. But again, I, I noticed that not only do I live here, but a lot of Thai people were viewing my videos uh, upwards of 40%. So thank you all for supporting me in YouTube as you do in life as well. I appreciate all of you guys so very much. This grass I'm placing here has instantly become my new favorite uh, nature tool. This is the elephant grass, and if you sink it right into the terrain, it gives like a, a short leaf grass effect. And this was uh, something I felt the game was truly missing until I discovered this. Uh, most of all of the animals hate the long grass texture in their exhibits, and I wanted something to give that grass look. And also you can see as a water plant, it looks absolutely fantastic here. Aw, oh, look at this cute little guy. Are you having a rub? Aw. Oh. Alright, now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Yeah, so like I was saying, the elephant grass I think gives a really cool effect uh, to underwater plant but also just to fill in gaps in the terrain where ideally you'd want to have long grass but the animals just simply won't allow it. Yeah, so you, I apologize for this part of the video. Uh, my save file corrupted and I lost a little bit of my footage but basically all I did here was I placed a uh, cafe area and a viewing platform from the workshop and I'm just going through and making them my own. My, as you can see my building is improving slowly but not quite to the point of where I feel confident in building buildings that actually look realistic and good so for the time being I'm just gonna do stuff like this where I take somebody's fantastic building and just kind of make it my own. So this is the African viewing platform that I found and I thought it just fit in this area just perfectly. Gives a nice view of the habitat. Yeah, so we're just going through adding detail work. Don't worry this transformer is going to go soon enough. It won't be staying there for long. So here we are just adding the education boards and uh, 
money collection boxes. I forgot to change the colors on those ones. I'll have to go back and do that. But just adding the guest facility stuff in. Currently, the guests aren't able to reach this section of the park. That's why you're not seeing any walking around. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if I want to allow them to walk down or simply have the train as the only way to reach this part of the park. But that's something I, I've yet to determine and it's basically dependent on the fact that the train has to be a complete loop. So depending on how I build the rest of the habitats in this area will depend on that. So here's the another underground staff area for the uh, uh, what you call it, the cafe and the viewing area, as well as providing power to the uh, train station. I left this bit in here so you can see me monkeying about with the with the pathing systems. The paths are far from perfect, and I am far from perfect at using them. This is something that even players, uh, longtime players of Planet Coaster, say the paths are not the easiest thing to work with. So here, you'll be proud of me, I built a nice little wall for my staff area. I'm still baffled as to why doors don't fit in the frame. Why? Why do doors not fit in the frame? Frontier, please. I just don't get it. But I digress. Uh, I added these cool little mosaic paintings to this wall just to spruce up this staff area and I think they look awesome but yeah all in all I'm super happy with the way this habitat turned out this pygmy hippo habitat has been a true success in my eyes I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I have we're nearing the end of the time lapse here so I just want to say again if you are enjoying my content please do like uh, the video and leave a comment down below. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button to stay informed as my videos are made new. But other than that, thank you again for tuning in. I'm Reckless, and see you next time. Bye-bye.